Hey everyone, welcome back to Main Tech. Today, we have an exciting lineup of the three highest regarded Generation 4 NVMe SSDs review, and all are in the 2TB configuration. We'll be putting the highest rated, top of the line Gen 4 NVMe drives to the test to see which one comes out on top. Remember to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on the 500 subscriber giveaway, where I'll be giving away at a minimum a new flagship 2TB NVMe SSD. Before we dive in, I want to touch a bit on the testing setup. All tests were performed on the ASUS TUF Z790 Plus motherboard and the Intel Core i9-13900K. If you're not aware, on newer chipsets and even a few older ones, depending on your board, there's a faster NVMe SSD slot that does not share PCIe lanes with other things such as USB, audio, and other peripherals. To ensure the best performance, I installed Windows 11 Pro, which was fully updated at time of testing on a dedicated NVMe SSD that was not connected to the fastest NVMe slot. I use the fastest slot that has direct access to the CPU for all of the drives tested below. If you would like to download the raw test results, click the link in the description, enter your email address, and you will receive the download link. I promise I will never spam you. This is just the best way I can figure out how to do it. Today, we'll be reviewing the Samsung 990 Pro 2TB NVMe SSD, the Sabrent Rocket 4 Plus G 2TB SSD, and the Western Digital SN850X 2TB SSD head to head to see how they perform. I'm also including two older drives for comparison. Before we start, two things to consider when purchasing a new drive is how long it's expected to last and in the event of a failure, how long is the warranty? Well, the 990 Pro and the SN850X 2TB models both state they can sustain 1.2 petabytes of writes. The Sabrent actually states 1.4 petabytes of writes. This means theoretically the Sabrent will last longer. Keep in mind, that's just theoretically. All drives do come with a five-year warranty. However, to get the five-year warranty on the Sabrent drive, you have to register the product. If you fail to do so within a certain time period, it's only covered for two years. To kick things off, let's take a look at the 3 Mark storage benchmark scores. This test focuses on overall gaming performance, which measures things like game load times, data throughput while running and recording a game to the same drive, installing and saving games, moving games, and overall latency. The Sabrent Rocket achieves a score of 4026, while the Samsung 960 Pro and the Samsung 970 Evo score 1526 and 2516, respectively. The Samsung 990 Pro scores 3801, and the Western Digital SN850 takes the cake, scoring 4036. If you're building a PC strictly for gaming, the clear winner is the SN850X. Before we move on, please take a few seconds to subscribe to the channel. If you found this video helpful so far, click the thumbs up button. It's incredibly beneficial to help this channel grow. So before you decide, let's take a look at how these drives stack up in synthetic benchmarks using the common Crystal Disk Mark application, which is free. I'll leave a link in the description below if you'd like to download it and test your drive to compare your results. If you currently have an NVMe SSD, make sure before you run the test to go to settings at the top and select the NVMe test. Moving on to Crystal Disk Mark, let's take a look at the sequential read speeds using Q-depth 8 and thread count of 1. This will show the best case raw read throughput, essentially how fast it can read data while looking at one large file. In this case, I'm running each test three times, letting the software average the test results out using a 1 gigabyte test file. The Sabrent reaches 6,967 megabytes a second, while the 960 Pro and 970 Evo achieve 3475 and 3373 respectively. Surpassing them all, the Samsung 990 Pro 2TB showcases an outstanding sequential read speed of 7,092 megabytes a second. The Western Digital closely follows at 6,920. When it comes to sequential write speeds using the same settings, when it comes to sequential write speeds using the same settings as earlier, the Sabrent achieves 6,737 megabytes a second, while the 960 Pro and the 970 Evo score 2,018 and 3,284. Once again, the 990 Pro impresses us with its speed, reaching 6,764 megabytes a second. The SN850X performs on par at 6,622 megabytes a second. So looking at just raw, large data throughput, the 990 Pro is a clear winner. But unless you commonly move large files, a more important metric to consider is a 4K random test, which in essence means how quickly can the drive read and write lots of small data, which is more common in overall system computing and gaming usage. Now let's take a look at the random 4K read speeds with a Q depth of 32 and thread count of 16. 
The Sabrin achieves a score of 4,233 megabytes a second, followed by the 960 Pro, which scored 1378, and the 970 Evo, which scored 1848 megabytes a second. However, both are surpassed by the 990 Pro, which achieves an impressive 5,734 megabytes a second. The SN850X also performs well at 4977. Shifting to random 4K write speeds with the same settings, the Sabrent scores 6,492 megabytes a second, while the 960 Pro and the 970 Evo reach 1414 and 2681, respectively. Once again, the Samsung 990 Pro 2TB takes the lead with 6,177 megabytes a second. The SN850X 2TB performs pretty well at 4,844 megabytes a second. Without getting super complicated, the easiest thing to remember is a Q depth of 32 is the best case data scenario, while Q depth of 1 is the absolute worst case. Before we continue to the rest of the video, since you're actually watching all the way through, or you got lucky by clicking through, Check the link in the description below to get double entries to the 2TB NVMe SSD giveaway. Speaking of Q depth of 1 and a single thread count, Q1, T1 for short, let's see how these drives perform on the random 4K test, the absolute worst case data scenario here. For random writes, the Rocket 4 is a clear winner, getting 364 megabytes a second while being followed by the SN850X with a score of 328 and the 990 Pro's 318 megabytes a second. You can really see the difference in performance whenever you look at the older 960 and 970 drive. On the retest, the Rocket 4 barely takes a cake with a score of 91 megabytes a second. The SN850X is almost identical at 90 megabytes a second, and the 990 Pro scores 87 megabytes a second. For the most part, random writes on this test are all about the same. Lastly, let's take a look at the Crystal Disk Mark Random 4K read latency with a Q depth of 1 and a thread count of 1. Keep in mind, lower is better on this test. The Sabrent is the quickest drive at 44 microseconds. The SN850X scores 44.97 microseconds, and the 990 Pro scores 46.65 microseconds. On the right latency test with the same settings, the fastest drive remains is Sabrent Rocket 4, which scored 11.16 microseconds, followed closely by the SN850X at 12.39 microseconds, and the 990 Pro at 12.78 microseconds. After carefully analyzing the data, it's clear that each of these SSCs offer impressive performance. But which drive would you choose and why? Let me know in the comments. I'm very interested to see what everyone would choose. As I stated earlier, if you're just needing a drive to put games on, I would recommend the SN850X. It had the highest 3D Mark gaming score, was extremely close on the large sequential transfers, was or was nearly the fastest in random read and write speeds, and just barely fell short of having the fastest worst case scenario latency access times. If you're looking for a drive to store large files, think 800 megabyte plus files, the 990 Pro is the absolute fastest. There's no competition there. If you're looking for the snappiest user experience, technically the Sabrent Rocket is the fastest, as it has the lowest latency, the fastest worst case scenario read and write speeds while looking at tiny amounts of data. If I had to recommend just a single drive out of these three, which one would it be? Honestly, it'd be the WD SN850X. The 990 Pro had some sketchy firmware lately which caused the drives to fail prematurely, which is now fixed, but it's still something to keep in mind. Sabrent isn't exactly a new company, as they've been around for a while, but they haven't been in the game quite as long as WD and Samsung have. Plus, it does tend to get a little bit hotter than the other drives. So you may be sitting here asking, hey, you have all of these drives, how do you use them? So, my board supports a total of four NVMe SSDs. My operating system lives on the Rocket 4 drive. All of my commonly played games live on the SN850X. I use a 990 Pro as a half install drive where I install things like Discord, the Adobe Suite, game launchers, while using it also to store some active Adobe Premiere projects of videos I'm working on. My fourth SSD is actually a super cheap 4TB Team Group MP34, which I'll list my review down in the description below to check out. I use this to store my other games that I don't play as much but take up a ton of space, mainly my non-competitive games like Tomb Raider, Doom Eternal, and Red Dead Redemption. I'll drop a link to all these drives in the description below so you can check them out for yourself. That's it. As always, thanks for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.